An opinion is an opinion. I get that. I understand that. But when a person makes a very good point, is it still considered an opinion? Hello everyone, once again this is Dare to Speak and I know that this is something that most people don't want to hear, I, I, can, I can understand that, but again I just wanted to um, voice my opinion just to see what other people would think, but I want to hear from both sides. This is something that I strongly feel is correct because not just the whole concept of God that, that I don't believe in, but the Ten Commandments, of course, to me seems like a very political agenda that was made to control people. and. The whole idea of Moses actually making these commandments, I actually start to doubt that. And I know that there's not everybody who's religious is, is actually going to like um, the person in which you just heard, which is George Carlin. I can understand that. But in my opinion, he makes a, a lot of good points. So, here's some other things that I think, again, I want you to hear, and again, I'm not trying to offend anybody, I'm just trying to make a point. So, here we go. me in my opinion it makes a great deal of sense it's made to control people and like I said before um, I mentioned in the Council of Nicaea where the whole thing was a political establishment for social and political control and to make a great deal of moolah okay a lot of money profit because the Catholic Church and all the corruption that happened 
in the Council of Nicaea in 325 AD, how they came up with all what they decided to what's going to be in the Bible and what's not going to be in the Bible. And there was a lot of opportunists who wanted to pretty much do whatever they can to control people, to make people believe that there's a God. And you need to follow his, his strict rules. And if you don't, you'll go to hell and, and stuff like that. And people were naive to believe that. And of course, there's a bunch of other reasons too, not just that. Uh, here's more of it and something that actually I think it makes a great deal of sense. In my opinion, of course. Honor thy father and mother. Obedience, respect for authority. Just another name for controlling people. The truth is, obedience and respect should not be automatic. They should be earned. They should be based on the parents' performance. Parents' performance. Uh, some, some parents deserve respect. Most of them don't. Period. Down to now, for those of you who, it should be, the audio should be good enough, where it says, honor thy mother and thy father. Of course, it's, it's common sense that you should respect your family. And you don't necessarily need God to tell you that. But at the same time, you, have to, you also have to realize the logic behind that not not every family is going to have a, a stable mother and a stable father. And there's some, there's, uh, there's some parents that are very rotten to their kids. And if they were to, if the kids were to uh, kind of like stand their ground or, or, their, or, their, or if they were to contradict, they consider it disrespect. They get smacked in the, or, of, or of a cousin or to see that it says, don't disrespect your mom. Don't, don't disrespect your dad, don't do that. And they're like, it's ingrained in their heads, but then their feelings, their actual um, emotional viewpoint is, well, I'm being treated like crap. And then, and then some people use the excuse, well, you're only six or you're only eight years old or whatever. You don't know anything about right and wrong. I think they do, in some cases, or, or even a lot of cases. I've seen many parents that don't know how to raise their kids correctly, and they, have, they verbally abuse them. Even, even in some cases, um, physically abuse them. But it's more of the verbal abuse that destroys a lot of their, of their self-esteem. So, George Carlin is right. Some people, some parents deserve respect. Most of them don't. And that, and, and, and that, and of course, with the Ten Commandments, of that being one of them, is just another way of controlling people. Just like he said, another way of controlling people. That you have to obey your mom. You have to work. Of course, you need to listen and and and, and you know do whatever they would do whatever they ask of you, not tell you, but ask of you because of, you know, the, the reasons of, the good reasons why. But at the same time, their, their ideas can be very radical and very uh, illogical or wrong. And sometimes, in, in some cases, a lot of kids actually, t uh, they actually know that it's wrong and then they, and then they disobey because of it. You know, in a lot of cases, when, when, when it's really extreme. And when he was talking about the first three, like I said this before about don't take the Lord's name in vain, how stupid that is. I mean, it doesn't bother me to say goddamn or Jesus fucking Christ or anything like that. I mean, who gives a fuck? I mean, they're just, they're just words and they're not harming anybody. I made that clear in, in, in my video on that. And another one about the very first one, thou shalt not have other gods before me. Don't worship anything else. And then the idea of I am, 
a just God, but I'm also a jealous God or something like that. Or I'm a, a jealous God, but I'm a just God. How can a just God be jealous? That's not something that a benevolent being, a supreme being would have, to be jealous. I mean, that's just fucking stupid. So it makes a great deal of sense to, to really take into consideration that the Bible, the religion, the whole concept of God, that we should worship this um, authority figure and things like that is complete and, and utter bullshit. That is just a form of programming people just to control them. In a very, you know, with sinister motives, that's the, that's the main reason why it's for sinister motives. So, with all these strict rules that, that I just said, I mean, a, 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 ver, a person who really is, who is a, a big time free thinker would actually agree with me on this. And I'm pretty sure there's some religious people that are a little bit liberal or, or straight up liberal who would actually take this into consideration. Again, I'm not trying to offend anybody just for the sake of offending somebody, just, just for doing it. Or because I hate God, I want to hurt them. I want to hurt them, I mean. That's not the reason why, that's not the reason. I mean, that's, that's, that's very silly, that's very dumb. It's because I'm having these epiphanies. I'm a critical thinker. And a critical thinker actually comes up with these type of feelings, this emotional viewpoint. And to me, I think it could actually, it could actually be proven into a fact. But there's a lot of conflict, that's the thing. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Questions or comments, you know what to do. And to all of you, take care.